Okay, um, today I am demonstrating how to analyze X-ray data. Okay, <clears throat> so oops, this is not what we want. What we want is the um, XRD window. <clears throat> okay, and here. Um, this is the uh, screen we run the uh, um, X-ray machine, the D8 tools, GADs, and uh, <clears throat> video. And uh, um, again, as we um, showed you already, um, all the data is um, <clears throat> original data at least. Uh, stored in the what they call frames folder and uh, 200 I mean 2020 and this is my folder here and that's the uh, copper nanoparticle hole. so I'm gonna go uh, analyze uh, spectra um, so we use a program called uh, diffract.eva right here <clears throat> Okay, so here um, we go to File and the Import Files. Very similar. <clears throat> and then since I did the last, it goes there already. And uh, um, got the date. Um, so I think these are the um, not as accurate because you can tell these things are created every 10 minutes. This one, you look at it, uh, it's created every about 30 minutes. So we're going to use these three. There are three frames. Okay, so we open that. <clears throat> it will show up in this screen. Okay, there are three frames. These each uh, round thing is called frames. And the program automatically kind of stitches together. And uh, <clears throat> so this one here, the uh, two theta value of a 22.5 and uh, this one is uh, what was that 22.5 plus 20 so uh, 45 or something and then this one is like a 70 something I thought okay anyway um, so we have these rings, so these are the uh, Lowy pattern, whatever you want to call it. And uh, <clears throat> so these are uh, fine powder, I mean the nanoparticles. So by looking at this, you can tell a few things. <clears throat> okay, we got a sharp peak like this one, or these uh, fairly sharp peaks. And then some weak uh, um, peaks over here and then they are not as uh, sharp maybe like this one there is some so anyway go to this uh, um, slice cursor click that and come over and uh, decide how far it's gonna go and uh, go over like this um, if you wanna go to the low angle you wanna kinda have to go narrow but if you wanna gather a lot of data um, because I don't see anything uh, close to the um, low angle area here, so I'm going to have it this far. And you can open this up, uh, move this around, um, and then check cursor preview. It's integrating, trying to make that 2D data into 1D. All right, this looks good. So I just say integrate. So this is kind of temporary, and then it's going to be an official. OK, so this is the um, <clears throat> integrated data. 2D rings became 1D data. So this is the 2 theta. Um, it goes from, uh, I don't know, 15 degrees to about 82 or so. And what I usually do is I change this color to black, usually. <clears throat> OK. And then uh, um, that's all I need for this. <clears throat> so 
And then next thing we do often is to look at the background. All right, bring that in. <clears throat> so right now it's a, a signal on the background. Um, you can actually display um, background subtracted, right? It puts a background on there, and uh, um, you could actually move this around to make the uh, background fit tighter or, uh, you know, if you want this to go away, you can make this go away by making this thing tighter by sliding this up. Um, but I think this is fine. So, okay, I'm going to display um, background subtracted, but signal, a strong signal like this, you probably, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter whether you subtract background or not. Okay, so I'm going to close that. <clears throat> the next thing we do is to go over here, search match. <clears throat> okay, and uh, bring this up a little bit, slightly. Okay, and uh, um, so you want to go to chemical filter. So I'm going to select whole thing. And then uh, change it to discard. Okay, everything else right now is discarded, but click somewhere else. Okay, there's no more blue selection thing. And uh, this has a copper in it, so we put the, um, where is the CU? Right here, right? CU. So this gray means uh, neutral, so it's maybe possible to exist. And, you know, we could put the uh, carbon because we did the XPS and we saw carbon, but <clears throat> probably these are not really carbide, but, you know, you can put the hydrogen in there just in case these things are uh, <clears throat> organic something in there. And uh, um, since I don't see anything using XPS, I'm not going to select anything. Otherwise, you can select the whole thing, and then they say, like, um, at least one of these. So blue here, blue here. Um, and then you can actually do the uh, search. But go to the database. Uh, crystallography open database. This is um, entered twice, but uh, we only need once. And right now we're using a PDF too, which is a paid uh, um, <clears throat> program. And uh, go over here, candidate, and uh, we do the search. We use the whole range. Okay, the first candidate matches this, this, that, right? This is actually a copper. <clears throat> cubic. Um, next one is basically the same thing but a different database. So this one seemed to work better. So um, copper is a FCC. <clears throat> so that means, uh, um, what is it? Unmixed um, uh, matches first. So 111 and 200 probably. And uh, um, what is this? Maybe 222, two, two. I'm not sure. If it's a double, yeah, probably is. But anyway, and uh, um, go down. Now the other ones are in blue, right? And uh, um, so we're looking for, did, they, did we pick up other ones? Yes. Okay, this, this, that, and it might be even this one. Yeah, you see the red points? So um, I'll select that one. Well, maybe that's not what I want. Um, okay, deselect that one because it's like a weird CU2 plus one I or whatever. Um, this one, formula-wise, is more desirable, so I'm going to pick this one, CU2O, right? And uh, keep on going. That's a carbon. Carbon peak will show up here and here, they say. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And move it over. So, um, not much else. OK. 
keep on going. Actually, see you all. Okay, this um, monoclinic CU all has a peak here, here, which may cover the um, this these two small peaks. So I'm gonna select it for now. See, uh, that's the same spot basically. It's a little bit off. Yeah, monoclinic CU all can come out in the uh, little bit off different area.